inside the event center, Fancy Springs Resort Casino in Indio, California. Beth Duran alongside trainer Joel Diaz, my partner tonight. Throwing the boy on ESPN. Action coming your way. Our co-feature fighters are in the ring. Greg Vendetti from Stoneham, Massachusetts. Yoshihiro Kamigai from Tokyo, Japan. Super welterweight division. Both fighters ring action. And that's what we expect. There you see Rudy Hernandez putting Vaseline on the face of Yoshihiro Kamigai. Used to be called the Maestrito. Now he's Corazón de Acero from Stoneham, Mass. Greg Vendetti, 28 years old. In Indio, California, welcome to those of you that were watching tennis, getting ready for Golden the Boy on ESPN Action. Our co-main event, Yoshihiro Kamigai, 35-year-old veteran out of Tokyo, Japan, takes on 28-year-old from Stoneham, Mass, Greg Vendetti, our ring announcer tonight, Joe Martinez. Well, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, from Fantasy Springs Resort Casino, Indio, California. It is time for our co-featured bout of the evening, 10 rounds scheduled, this in the Super Welterweight Division. This bout is presented by Golden Boy Promotions in association with Taken Promotions and Murphy's Boxing with our sponsors, Tecate, the official beer of boxing, and Hennessy, never stop, never settle. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, Wearing solid black trunks, he weighed in officially 153 and one quarter pound. As a professional, he has an outstanding record standing at 19 victories, just two defeats. One draw with 12 wins coming by way of knockout, hailing from and fighting out of Stone of Massachusetts. Here is the villain, Greg Vendetti! And across the ring stands his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing black trunks trimmed in white, he weighed in 153 and one half pounds. This veteran also with an outstanding record of 27 victories, including 24 knockouts, four defeats, and two bouts even. Hailing from Tokyo, Japan, here is the heart of steel, Corazon de Acero, Yoshihiro Kamiga! And your referee in charge of the action is Ray Corona. Aquí está bien. Right here is good. Touch gloves. God bless. Ray Corona, the third man in the ring. We are ready One. to go. Greg Van Dating, a last minute hug from his trainer, Joey Mal Riccardi. Peace. Sendai Tanaka, the trainer of Yoshihiro Kamigai. You ready? Underway, 10 rounds of action. Super welterweight division. The veteran, 35 years old, is Yoshihiro Kamigai. He's got the red Everlast gloves. His opponent, Greg Vendetti. First time ever on TV. First time fighting in California. Stone Am Mass, Northeast. Little mini celebrity out there. The biggest fight of his career. Kamigai. He's gone up against Miguel Cotto and one of the big names in the division. You won't have to find either of these two coaches. They're going to stand there. They're going to trade. Oh, they're going to fill each other out early, as you can see. You can see the, the, the energy in both of them. Uh, you can see Vendetti. You know, he's he's being smart, waiting for, for uh, Kamigai to make a little bit of a mistake. But... You know, you can see the tension on both, and you can see it at, as well. They're both in great shape. They're well prepared. Like Vendetti said, nobody knows me, but they will tonight. Vendetti, 19, 2, and 1. 28 years old, came to the sport late. We're kind of there, guys. He We're said out. he was it's fighting in the streets. Stop. We might as well Stop. learn Stop. how to fight the right way. Went to a boxing gym to learn how to fight in the streets. And he's like, wait a minute, all the real tough guys are in the boxing gym. Right, and he's he was a plumber, working as a plumber. And he walks in the gym with his tools. He's yeah. got his belt, his, his, his uh, tools and his belt on him when he walked in the gym. Coach, you have some guys walking into the Indio Boys and Girls Club and say, hey, I want to train with you. I want to fight you. Anybody ever walked in with their plumbing gear? 
not not a, not a, exactly with the plumbing gear, but I've seen uh, some of the uh, guys come in with their work, work guys, uh, yeah, uniforms. Yeah. You know, they come from work mechanics. Stop. Some people they, they here. There's a lot of uh, agriculture here. You know, people that work in the fields. They come like, oh, I was, you know, they, they smell like cilantro, and then, and they're like, oh, I was, I work picking cilantro right yeah. now. You know, but when they're 18, you're not taking them too serious, right? Well, at that age, you know, it's uh, it's not common. But they come in and just work out, but it's rare. No, Once no, in a no, while, you no, find stop, a kid stop. that is 19, uh, 20 years old that you can polish him because he's a natural fighter. They might start late, but there's some that, that you know, it's one out of ten. And that's what Joey Bricardi said about Greg Vendetti. He walked in, he's like, man, this guy, we got to teach him how to walk. But to the credit of Vendetti, here he is as a professional on ESPN, fighting as Yoshihiro Kamigai, a dream come true. Common guy, the veteran in the sport. 27 and 4, 24 KOs. Work out there, guys. Work out. You know, the interesting thing about a fight like this is like along along the rounds, one of them has to break loose a little. Because right now they're both doing the same thing. They're standing in there exchanging. You know, so one of them is gonna have to make a little a little bit of a change. Give me a wrench, though. All right. Give me the end swell. No, no, no. Just a little broken. Golden Boy Boxing on ESPN is presented by Tecate, the official beer of boxing. And brought to you by Hennessy. Never stop, never settle. And also brought to you by Canelo Triple G2, live on pay-per-view, September 15th. Second round of action in Indio, California. Built the Rand Joel Diaz. Malita Pobreza thing, Indio Boys and Girls Club. Longtime trainer in the sport, the Fighting Diaz brothers. Tonio and Julio. From the Coachella Valley. I, I figured you'd want to say Coachella. I can't say it the right way. Well, Coachella Valley uh, consists of the entire, I mean, desert here, Palm Springs, you know, every, everything around here. That's why it's called Coachella Valley, not necessarily the city of Coachella, but it's all Coachella Valley. They have that festival here. They have a st stagecoach, but they also have some good boxing. And we're expecting that tonight between Kamen Guy and Greg Vendetti. Kamen Guy, the more polished fighter. Vendetti, the brawler. That's an uppercut, does Vendetti. This is what we're gonna see tonight. They're, they're not gonna have to look for anybody. And Vendetti's the last couple fights, he's had to look for his opponent. That he knew that was Kamen Guy he was gonna be standing there and we're gonna trade, we're gonna lean on each other. That's exactly what we're gonna have tonight. Oh no, he's not gonna have any problems looking for, for Kamen Guy. He's right in the space. He'll be on his he'll be on his face all night. Phone booth. You put this, these two guys in the phone booth, they'll be there exchanging. They're just a little tight. Both of them are a little too tight. You know, they're not, I mean, they don't, they don't use their distance in, 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 any, in any way, but they're just consistently throwing. I mean, they're throwing punches with no type of plan. Work, guys, they work. don't have a plan. They're just throwing punches. You go. You're going to have the punch that graphic coming up to you a lot, and those numbers are just going to go through the roof tonight. Great job by the crew that's putting it together and counting these punches because they're going to be busy. They're going to have to use their toes and everything to count. Yeah, they're just consistently just punching. There is, I don't see, I don't see a, a, a strategy. I don't see a plan. They're just throwing punches in bunches. That's all they're doing, both of them. Well, that is their plan. A tirar. Well, yeah, I mean, that is, that's a great plan, but at the end, at, at the end, you're going to start fading because, you, I mean, your opponent is right in front of you. There's going to be some sort of plan yeah, to stop, sometimes stop, stop. let your opponent work a little more, work with his work, sometimes let him let him throw an encounter that's that's what i'm trying to say by having some sort of a plan in it and these guys are just you know you hit me too i'll hit you too you know they're just going back guys. and forth to me right now like i mean i can't even say we're who's winning the first round or the second round uh, there's no jab in all right? at all i mean there's no distance there's no space to create a jab in it and the three fights I've worked with Vendetti, that's exactly it. He's usually the smaller fighter, and he comes in rough, and he comes at you. 
And you can see the muscles on Vendetti's arms. The only difference between these two guys is Vendetti is, is throwing a higher volume of punches than Cameron. Back in Indio, California. A run of action between Yoshihiro Kamigai. Used to be nicknamed El Maestrito. Now he's Corazón de Acero. There's Greg Vendetti coming out Come that lead out left guys. hook. Let's go. We're Corazón de Acero, translated in English. Stop, stop, stop. Steel hard. It was given to him by Oscar De Hoya. And Vendetti was scrapping with Robert the Ghost Guerrero at the Stub Hub Center in Carson, on the campus of Cal State Dominguez Hills. As Oscar was ringside, he said, this guy's heart. And that's where the name stuck with him. They changed it up. You see some redness underneath the left eye of Kamigai. It's, okay, so forget the jab, coach. Forget the distance. So if you're in the corner of either of these guys, what do you tell them? I mean, in either of, of them, I would say, you know what? Don't smother yourself so much. Sometimes you have to use a little bit of, of uh, common sense. This guy is just throwing punches. Yes, he's throwing punches uh, with uh, and a high volume. Let him work, counter. But there is no control of no, 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 his dominance. No, no, no. Right now, the no, only no, no, difference no, no, no. between these two fighters is that Vendetti is just throwing a higher volume of punches. He's throwing, you know, twice as much. Uh, and now Kamika is coming back. Kamika is holding back a little bit, but he's just slow starting. Good right hand landed. Come on. Body shot from Kamen. That might be the first one that actually landed flush. There are no power shots at all. They haven't seen no power shots at all. They're just consistent punches. But right now, one of the best shots right now was landed with Kamen guy, which was a, a left hook to the liver. And if he keeps connecting that, if he keeps connecting that shot, it can benefit him in the long run because then then he can start slowing down a little bit. When you start hitting the body, you start worrying your opponent. And Betty from Stoneham, Mass. Come on, put your hands out. I'm a guy in Tokyo, man. Japan. And Betty with Murphy's boxing. Led by Ken Casey. Drop kick Murphy, same. Let's go. Work out of there, guys. These are two fighters Dude. that have only one style. And that's their style. I mean, somebody steps in the ring with these guys that can that has footwork and, and movement around the ring can, can really uh, hurt their careers. Well, that was uh, Kamigai against Miguel Cotto. When Cotto was just moving around, taking his time. Kamigai was there, but Cotto swept the cards easily. It wasn't a tough fight for Cotto. Yeah, because Cotto's a great boxer. Cotto can really use the ring. He moves really well. And that's the best way to beat a Kamigai. Already in the third round, the power punches are climbing. Stop! Take a step back. Yeah, Vendetti don't stop. He just consistent, consistent, right there. Come on, come on. It's just a matter of who has, who's in better shape, who has better conditions. It's scheduled for 10. Kamigai Vendetti, Golden Boy on ESPN. Main event is Cancho Zenyana. 10! And here we go in the exchanges. Here comes Vendetti with an overhand right as he leans towards his left. It was a nice, perfect shot. Fourth round, Yoshihiro Kamigai, Greg Vendetti. Vendetti throwing a lot of punches in bunches, but the question with him is going to be able to maintain this pace. Kamigai, we've Stop. known. He's done turn his around, entire career. Around. This is his style. This is what he does. He keeps coming at you. You know what happens with fighters like Kamigai with their experience is, okay, you're going to throw, you're gonna throw uh, more punches than I am in the earlier round, but uh, as the rounds go, I'm going to wear you down. Now, in this round, Kamigai started off with landing some great shots. He landed a, a, a couple right hands. He landed a couple straight rights. They are already doing some damage to Vendetti. Vendetti was at the Chappelle show. He was watching Dave Chappelle, the comedian. Step back. Not in camp. And he got a phone call from his trainer said, hey, there's a chance for you to fight Yoshihiro Kamigai. Vendetti had just ordered a drink. Said he threw it away, enjoyed the rest of the show, and he told his trainer, I'm in. He didn't even hesitate him, because he knew that fighting Kamigai and beating Kamigai would do wonders for his career, especially if it's an opportunity on ESPN. Yeah, at this point, by this round already, you can see Vendetti 
uh, a little bit fatigued. You know, Kamigai keeps, off his keeps coming. And, you know, Kamigai is a fighter that is like one of those diesel trains. You know, starts slow, starts slow. But he's doing damage now. He's going to the, he's attacking the body now. And, and he slowed Vendetti down a little bit. And once those trains get momentum, the... They're hard to stop. Well, that thing. Yeah, they're hard to stop. And look, Kamigai is, is, now he's working smart. He's, he's hitting the body. He landed a great left hook to solo flex in there. And hold now hold Vendetti hold. is frustrated. He's, he's fatigued. He's slowing down now. Vendetti's never fought this quality of a polished fighter. Club shows in the New, New England area. His last opponent knocked him out of the first round. Vendetti said he knows it was a huge step up in opposition. He fell with it. Never been one to shy away from a fight. Yeah, these fighters, uh, they need that opportunity, you know. If you want to get known, you th this is the type of opportunities you need. Well, they all say they want it, right? And then you get the call and you're like, oh, you know what? Nah. Yeah, I mean, if you don't take a chance, nobody's ever going to know you. And Bandeli said, I'll take this chance. Yeah. You know, I want to fight this guy. He has a name. I like it. And sometimes uh, fighters really step up to the opposition they're facing. You know, but some fighters, you know, they want to get known. And they take they, they, they take the chance, and that's the last thing. fight. Oh, stop! stop. Yeah, some guys are just happy to stay at the club show. Give credit to Griffin Deddy stepping it up tonight against Comic Guy club. in Indio, California tonight. As Comic Guy starting to separate a bit. Here we have both the fighters throwing punches in different angles, you know, landing a few, but every punch that lands is already a power punch. Now you're starting to hear the power shots starting to land. Fifth round, scheduled for 10. Yoshihiro Kamigai, Boca, Japan. Greg Vendetti, Stoneham, Massachusetts. Vendetti with two losses on his record. His second loss, after oh, his second your arms loss. Up, put your arms up. That he had to take boxing serious, so he's quit his job as a plumber, never looked back. Because it was a fight against, he said, somebody he should have beat easily. And that dedication might have been a club fighter, but you need to have that coach because you see the difference when you're fully locked in. Hasn't lost since, as you see the punches landed from Vendetti and Kamigai. Yeah, he felt that he wasn't dedicating himself 100% into what he wanted to do. You know, he was giving 50-50. So he goes, you know what, I'm going to quit my job and I'm going to go 100% into boxing. Put your hands out, which is put your great. hands you know, out. Sometimes a lot of fighters dedicate uh, time into something else that is not the sport. And if they want to reach their goals, they have to focus 100%. Boxing is a sport that you need to give yourself in 100%. Uppercut from Vendetti. Vendetti's landing punches now, but as you can see, there's no more power in those punches. Trying to get off of the ropes. Good left hook from Vendetti. Some guy with the right. Leaning on the ropes. Coach, you've taught me when you see a fighter leaning on the ropes, what does that mean? They're fatigued. Now they're trying to rest a little bit. They're trying to get, trying to catch a breather. But coming guy in the previous round, he was connecting more punches to the body. And now he stopped. In this round, he's just focusing on the head. And, and what is he doing? He's, he's, he's letting Vendetti recover. He needs to continue hitting that body, especially when Vendetti comes with punches to the head. That's when you attack and counter to the body inside. Vendetti was on the ropes, now he's in the corner. He's right there on the hip, right there on the hip. Kamigai complaining, Vendetti hit him, I think, a little low on the, on the thigh. Trying to swing for the fences is Vendetti. Yeah, Vendetti's still punching. He's, even though he's on the ropes, he's tired, you can see he's fatigued, he's still swinging. He has that heart. Trying to move around and Kamen Guy. But when you're in the ring against somebody like Kamen Guy, which just keeps coming and coming and coming, how do you counter him? How? I mean, you just have to let him throw punches. You have no, to no, let him throw it. punches do and work off his work. You know? I mean, of course, he's going to keep coming, keep coming. At times, you have to stop the action. You touch the ropes, Kamen Guy keeps coming in, just lean on him. Just lean on him, let the, the, let the job, let, let the referee do his job, and take a little breather. Three, four seconds is good. Final seconds of the round, Yoshihiro Kamigai, Greg Vendetti.
How you cooking, though, Fucking shape, right? Yep. You're in great condition. I ain't tired at all. Listen, it's a five it's round beautiful. fight. You understand? We're beautiful. It's good. You hear me? Yep. Come on, baby. Todo bien. Todo. Rudy Hernandez working the inch well on the face of Yoshihiro Kamigai. The last five fights. The good news for Kamigai lands about 25% of his punches, about 39% of his power punches. But the bad news, he takes those punches, coach. He, he'll be willing to land one to get two. And you see that right now. He throws in, he landed a great right hand, but every time great fight, Yoshihiro guys. lands one, but great then he fight. comes with two, great three fight. punches back. Let's go. They're working on some swelling underneath the left eye near the cheekbone of Yoshihiro Kamagai. As he came out for the start of the sixth round, he was looking at the big screen that they have in Fantasy Springs, looking at the replay. So that graphic we put up, fellas, and the replays, Kamagai, appreciate the work of the truck. Rudy Hernandez, the the uh, great cup man, great corner guy. He knows what he's doing. As you can see, he did a great job working that swelling on coming guy's eye. And uh, I'm pretty sure no, that no, no, he's no, aware no, of it. No, let go, and let go. every oh, round, he's going to keep Turn working on. it until he brings it down as much as he can. Rudy Hernandez, the house cup for taking promotions. Mr. Honda, he trains a Jorge Linares in there, that works. The brother of the late, great Chicanito Hernandez, Rudy Hernandez. Legendary Chicanito Hernandez. Rest in peace. As you know, this, these guys don't throw jabs. You know, every punch is like they want to go for the for the body, left cross, uppercuts, but they don't start with the jab as they're approaching each other, at least to measure distance. Yoshihiro Kamigai starting to pull away. And you see this, coach, you were mentioning it. The diesel started slow, but he picks up momentum. And as the fight's progressing, Kamigai is landing more punches now, just like you said he would. He's landing more punches, but at the same time, he lands a good combination, and then he pulls back, and you can see that he's he's breathing a little heavy. So Kamigai. Kamigai can also be can, uh, can also be tired, you know? You never know, because he slowed down a little in this round. And Daddy with the right and left. Kamigai with the right, a little blood from the nose of Kamigai now. See, in, in no, that, no, in that particular head, distance, Come on, guys, should, should start around, around. using double hooks. Go to the head, go to the body. Start attacking the body on the inside. At close range, hit the body. Uppercuts. Short left hooks. See, he pulls back and he gets hit. You're not supposed to do it. Stay low, step inside. Always maintain that distance. You're a brawler, keep, your, uh, keep, keep the, the, the distance close. Here's my daddy trying to move around, touch the ropes. I mean, it seems like he's comfortable on the ropes as well. He, he lands, he lands a, a good uppercut right there, but sort of push him with the shoulder. Caught, caught the attention of the ref. Joe Ricciardi, the trainer of Greg Vendetti, JR13 boxing at Saga's Mavs. You can hear him in the corner. Throw the jab. He keeps saying it. Throw the jab. He's throwing the hook. That's landed a couple times. That's Vendetti. He's countering pretty good. Now, now he's got that distance where, where coming guy throws, but then he executes. Stop the bell, See, he makes a miss and he counters. Two right hands landed by coming guy. Stay on. Bell is rung. Coming guy and Vendetti jump in. Bethel Duran alongside Joel Diaz. Trainer, extraordinary former fighter, seventh round of action. Jessica Rosales is reported for ESPN Deportes just ran over here. Let us know that the daddy's corner coach told him, You need to smother him and get off of the ropes. That's what they told Greg Vendetti. They don't like him leaning on those ropes. Oh, those are great instructions because when you when you touch the ropes and you stay there, as long as he's been staying, you know, he gets hit a lot. I think he's better off against Kamen Guy to, to move around. I mean, stay in the middle of the ring. Gives you more space to move. Kamen Guy just runs at you. Yeah, because that's his style. His style is, you know, he wants to, he wants to, to catch up to you, have you stand there and exchange. For example, right there. But he, he's not throwing the volume of punches that he needs to throw. Kamen Guy, he's gotten older. He's done. 
less sparring in his training camp to maintain the body fresh. Hired a strength and conditioning well, guys, coach. Guys, your eyes started watching more video. He found a couple fights of Vendetti. The wisdom you get is you get a little, right, coach? I think he's doing, honestly, in my opinion, he's doing the wrong. Why? He shouldn't, he, shouldn't, he shouldn't hire a strength and conditioning coach because at this point of his career, 35 years old, he's a veteran. He needs more boxing and conditioning, honestly. The boxing conditioning? Yes, yes, the older you get, you need to focus more on what you are, a boxer. Strength and conditioning for an older fighter doesn't benefit him. That's my opinion. It affects me. So you don't have your guys do weights or strength I mean, I, I see your Instagram in the morning. You've got these guys running up sand dunes and doing track work. I'm not a, prof I'm not a, a strength and conditioning coach. My, my fighters never get tired. The strength and conditioning that I do with my fighters is nothing but boxing. I don't believe in this new modern era conditioning and all that weights and bands and all that. To me, honestly, instead of benefiting a fighter, it affects a fighter. That's my opinion because I never do it with my fighters and my fighters always perform really well. So you're not one that has the, the fancy charts and like the body mass index and doing all that other stuff. What do you do? You got like a notepad? No, everything is just based on experience, the old school way. You already know what to do Monday to, Monday to Saturday. I mean, honestly, at age 35, Kame guy, he should focus more on boxing and forget about, about his his conditioning, what is he doing? He's wearing himself out more. You know, I've worked with older fighters in the past, even my brothers. My brothers, Antonio and Julio Diaz, when I trained them in the past, it's like, this cut the strength and conditioning. This focus more on what you are, a boxer. Stop the bell, but Rocky was carrying logs in Russia, though. Is that what we should be doing? Because I'm going to go do it. Put your arms up. It worked for me. She's yeah, swelling yeah. underneath the left eye on the cheekbone of Yoshihiro Kamigai. Rudy Hernandez doing a good job keeping that down in the corner of the Japanese fighter. Greg Vendetti's corner telling him, you need to pick it up. It's the eighth round. They're telling him to stay off the ropes. But it's hard to stay off the ropes against a fighter like Kamigai that is always just pushing you back. It's either you're going to have to stay in exchange with him or you're going to have to move around the ring. Through seven complete rounds, the total punches. Almost 500 for Kamigai, almost 600 for Vendetti. I, I think they're throwing a lot, though. They are throwing a lot, but... Just a hunch. Yeah, they're just throwing a lot of punches, but as you can see, neither fighter has been hurt. You haven't seen... Oh, that was a nice, nice little left hook on the way out from Vendetti to Kamigai. The reason why Kamigai is just pulling straight back. Something you should never do. Never pull straight out, back, guys, especially when out. the fighter's out, coming out. forward, throwing punches. Best shots of the night landed for the villain, Greg Vendetti. Sometimes you don't, you, you'll notice a fighter's age, your arm up, your arm you know, after a long go. career it, of tough fights. Coming guy's style, it's a great style, but you know, I see stylistically, that type of style will not last long in the sport of boxing because it takes a toll in your body. And I think Kamigai has given a lot of tough fights where when he gets to that point at, uh, at, at that age, it's a, he's, he's already fading, he's already fatigued, his body's tired. And no. then if, if you're giving your body more conditioning, it's like the experience as a fighter, sometimes there's fighters. If you're, an old, if you're a veteran fighter, you can walk in the ring and no problem, you will spark four rounds because of your experience, do boxing. Conditioning, yes, you can get your conditioning from running, hitting the bag, doing mitts. There's other ways of doing conditioning, not with the strength of conditioning. Tom guy had a couple good battles with Jesus Soto's Caras. This is exactly what it was against Soto Caras. If you want to go check it out on YouTube, Ring TV, put the broadcast on. That's the Velasco at the forum, back and forth, but Soto Caras and Kamigai, guy similar. They're just gonna stand there for you. See, and and, and, this, and this round, as you notice, Vendetti's already pushing, uh -huh. pushing Kamigai guy back. And you notice that Kamigai guy gets up, lost when he's going back because he's not used to boxing going backwards. You know, there's fighters they only have one style, and that's forward. You can see his his, his style is just coming forward. But when somebody stands in front of you and makes you walk back. You don't know what to do. Right there, for example, Vendetti is already smothering him. Stop with the bell, stop, stop. Hey. 
That was low, that one was low, right? Let's pick it up. Vendetti pushing Kamigai backwards, and then he drops his defense and catches him with a little short hook. Didn't do much damage, but yeah, never, never drop your defense. Uncharted territory for Greg Vendetti. He has never fought past eight rounds. The first time he's fighting in the ninth. His opponent, Hito Kamigai, has gone past eight nine times. And coming no, no, into this stop, fight, stop, the ring stop. experience definitely on Kamigai's side. 196 total rounds coming into this. Vendetti. 88. So the test, the experience on the side of the Japanese fighter Kamigai. See, and Vendetti's not doing bad against an experienced stop, stop. fighter like Kamigai. Wrong, he's, wrong, he's actually staying in there. And as a matter of fact, as you see, Vendetti throws any punch he throws, he's landing. Right now, he, he caught Kamigai with a short hook, left uppercut, and then comes back with the jab, landed all three punches at the same time. Once just landed in the eighth, Vendetti, you mentioned it, Joel was picking it up and was getting more punches to the body of Kamigai. Look, Vendetti, as you can see now, he's moving, he's pushing Kamigai back. There's a point in the fight where you catch a second wind and it's about the time. He's in great condition, as you can see, because having an opponent or stepping in the ring against a fighter like Kamigai, believe me, a lot of fighters were, will be worn out by now. Just the simple fact, the pressure, we up, mentally, man. they there wear down. And Vendetti is there fighting and, and coming back with everything that Kamigai has. Vendetti said he watched the fights of Koto Guerrero against Kamigai. Called him a real warrior, dream come true to fight him. But this is his time. So you gotta come at it. Vendetti, hit with the right hand. Not only 35 amateur fights for Vendetti. At this point, Vendetti seems like he already lost respect for, for Kamigai. He's stand, now he dro he's dropping his defense. That's a sign that, okay, you know, you're not going to hurt me. I'm still here, and I'm exchanging him. Kamigai lands one, two shots. Vendetti comes back with three, four. Joey Ricciardi, the trainer, suck it up, Vendetti. Great motivation. That's it, Sometimes you just don't need to give instructions, right? You just gotta motivate the guy. Motivate him, and you feel it, like you sense it. You know what, I'm doing something right, so I gotta keep pushing it. Listen to your corner. Get that energy in. Work out of there, guys, work out. Daddy said he didn't know anything Stop. about boxing. Take the only thing he knew back. about boxing as a kid was that Mike Tyson was a savage at going after people. Yeah, he mentioned that, he's, that he was knocking people out, and, he, and that's what I like. It gets me pumped up. Tyson got a lot of people pumped up in that rain. Final seconds of the ninth round between Yoshihiro Kamigai, Greg Vendetti, and as usual, Kamigai fight. Looks like it's going to the final round. The tenth and final round, I think Greg Vendetti wants some fans here in Indio. Nobody knew him. He's got a little ovation. I know, get off his head. Like I told you, all you need is just that opportunity to fight the fighter with a name. And people will remember you, especially when before you leave this arena tonight. You know, people are happy. You gave them what they paid to see. And of course, everybody will always remember you. But like I said, it's just a matter of opportunity. Between rounds, we were looking at the corner of Greg Vendetti, Joey Ricciardi, Stuart Randall, Anthony Day. They were just pumping him up, motivating, yelling in his face, just trying to hype up their fighter. 
you know, it's, it's, guys, it's that guys. energy that you generate when you know that your fighter's doing great. You know, he's doing good. He's he's in there against one of the one, one fighter that has fought a lot of great names. He's doing well for himself tonight. He's doing really, really good. He's he's in there and he's exchanging really well, landing great shots. Now he's touching the body, he's touching up upstairs, downstairs, and he's doing good. He's putting a great fight. Interesting to see how the judges have this. See what they favor. Right hand from Conor Guy on the right. See, Vendetti landed two straight jabs. If he would focus a little more on throwing jabs when Kamigai comes in, he will land every single jab because Kamigai is not moving his head. He has no, you know, no body movement. No, he's not bound to win at all. He's just coming straight forward. All Vendetti needs to do is throw a jab and he'll land it right there, for example. There's a nice counter with an overhand right and follows up. Well, the most jabs thrown in this fight have come in this round. Kamigai. He goes the distance with fighters. Oh, and father, huh? Don't get me wrong. I honestly can tell you, I think Kamigai had a little a little bit too much work in this camp because, I mean, I don't see him doing any damage with his punches when I've seen him in the past do damage. He even landed some great, better shots on Koto than on, on, on Daddy. Sometimes it could be, you know, hey, it's already that time of the time in your career where your age starts kicking in, you know? Uh, your age falls in your back already, so it's time to think about something else, or you did a little a little extra that you shouldn't have done in the gym. A well, little well, Kamigai did mention that in our fighter meetings that after this fight, depending on how he looks, he's gonna have to evaluate his career. A lot of pride for Yoshihiro Kamigai. You know he has that big heart. Yes, you can, he has a great heart, but at the same time, I mean, if you're gonna be taking a beating from all these young fighters coming up, I mean, there's no need. But Vendetti's right there. He's finishing strong. This is the end of the round, and he's right there in front of Kamagai, exchanging, throwing, swinging left and right. And that'll do it. 10 good rounds between Yashihiro, Kamagai, and Greg Vendetti. They hug in the middle of the ring, some sportsmanship. A lot of respect between the two. Vendetti, good showing for himself. Young man from Stoneham, Massachusetts. First time at, on TV. First time in California. First time with a big time name. Did well for himself. Interesting to see how the judges have a score. And you like seeing though that the only trainer he's ever had, Joey Ricciardi. Yoshihiro Kamigai comes back to his corner in that war. But it's on that settle. The villain. They go to the car decision coming up in India. Golden Boy Boxing on ESPN, presented by Tecate, the official beer of boxing. Brought to you by Hennessy, never stop, never settle. And brought to you by Canelo Triple G2, live on pay-per-view September 15th. Tomorrow night, top-ranked boxing main event, a 12-round bout between heavyweight contenders Bryant Jennings and Alex Dimitrenko in Atlantic City, 10 o'clock Eastern on ESPN and ESPN Deportes. You can stream the undercards along with the main event live on the ESPN app starting at 7 Eastern. You'll start your free trial of ESPN Plus today. Tomorrow on ESPN Plus, we'll have Ronaldo's first Serie A league game for Juventus against Kibo in Torino. Most of the soccer role will be watching 9 Eastern, 9 o'clock, 9 Pacific, noon Eastern. And this match is also streaming live on the ESPN app, so start your free trial of ESPN Plus now. And let's take a look at the final punch stats between Kamigai and Vendetti. Coach, a lot of numbers in this one. A lot of numbers. A lot of punches were thrown. The total power of punches, you see Vendetti with 37%. Kamigai 36%. Exactly what we kind of expected. The two fighters are just going to stand in the middle and go back and forth. Our ring announcer, Joe Martinez, has the decision. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards, and here are the totals. Alejandro Rochin and Pat Russell have it, 98-92.
and Dr. Lumeret, 97 93. All for your winner by unanimous decision, the villain, Greg Vendetti. He said, Nobody knew me when I got here, but they will after I'm leaving. Congratulations to Greg Vendetti, the winner by unanimous decision against veteran Yoshihiro Kamigai. We'll go back to Massachusetts with his 20th win. Do you think of the decision? A great performance. No, I had I had Vendetti winning. Honestly, I had him way ahead. He was the one that was throwing the more the, the more punches. He was busier. He was a busier fighter and he gets the victory tonight. Some highlights from this fight between Vendetti and Kamigai. Here we see they're both exchanging in the middle of the ring, but you see uh, Vendetti always taking the best, landing the best shots on Kamigai. Kamigai was very limited with his work tonight. You see always Vendetti in the ropes until like the eighth round started coming forward and making Kamigai move backwards. Looks like after he got his second win, you know, he started building up that confidence. He started, he noticed that Kamigai was not gonna hurt him. Just wore him down, did Vendetti. His corner was urging him, willing him, getting motivation in the last couple of rounds. He gets the victory. That's Greg Vendetti.